So what's going on guys? If y'all saw the last tutorial where I taught you how to blur faces, you know, like I am right now, there's actually more that you can add to that effect alone, such as creating a deeper voice that makes you sound like you're anonymous or whatever. Now there are multiple different ways that you can do this, but I'm gonna be showing you the easiest way, which is adjusting the pitch under the edit page. Let me go ahead and get my AirPods on so I could hear the audio that I'm going to be demonstrating if they're not dead. So once you're in the edit page, go ahead and select your audio file and this will bring up all your audio settings under the inspector panel. Now go ahead and make your way over to the pitch panel and then select that. Once you enable that, go ahead and select it and it'll give you a little drop down. So the semitones will actually affect the way your voice sounds as in like if you want to make a deeper effect, it'll just mess with the whole thing in a deeper way. I don't know the exact terminology, but if you do sense, it'll just make your actual voice deeper and a little bit higher, but it won't adjust and tweak the way it sounds, if that makes sense. So here's an example of me just adjusting the sense on my voice, making it deeper and making it higher pitch. And then here's me adding semitones in my voice, which will give me a more grungy sound. Or a more chipmunky sound. So of course every voice is a little bit different so each audio file is not going to sound the exact same with these exact same settings so you're going to have to tweak it to your liking but for me this I already tested this out on my voice so what I like is going to about negative 8 for this for semitones and then going to about negative 30 for the synths. Gosh I cannot just successfully do this so I'm just going to type it out and then once I play back my voice you'll hear it. But this is but I will find you and I will kill you. See, I mean, that wasn't me though. I, I I obviously didn't make this audio clip. This was just sent to me. So anyways, that's how you uh, do the pitch. <laughs> now, of course, you can take this into the Fairlight page and adjust the pitch there, adjust the EQ and do whatever else you want to the clip. You can make it sound like you're a chick monk. You can do all these other cool things, but this is how you just do the anonymous voice effect. Now, I do think this is a very cool effect to do, especially if you want to make like a mockumentary of like a murder show or like do an interview with somebody who's inconspicuous and has committed many murders and doesn't want to disclose their identity. I think it's a very cool effect to do in general. That's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you out. Again, if you have any questions, always comment them down below and I will either help you out with this effect or if you have any other effects that you want me to teach you or any other type of content that you want to see me make for y'all, I will make all of that down below. Well, not all down, down below, but I will make it in general. But yeah, again, if you didn't catch how to make the blurry face, go ahead and select the video in one of these corners and it'll teach you how to achieve the blur so you can bring them all together as one and make yourself an anonymous person. But yeah, I hope this video did help you out and i will catch y'all in the next tutorial or behind the scenes or some other video so yeah, yeah.